Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. It's Monday. It's Ladder Leverage Day. It's just headbutt play day. We got <laughs> Mr. Gravish here. Super hype. How you doing today, sir? What's up, man? <laughs> oh, we love hanging out with you, dude, man. Always a good, good time, man. Um, so this is what uh, this is the uh, Lime Pockets uh, Syndicate after Syndicate was completely MIA other than Saber playing it on ladder last season. Uh, Syndicate's back, and this deck is. It, it reminds me a lot of like uh, Enslaved, like five or something. It's got like damage, and you got your Helge slash Tunnel Drill. Um, let me let me tell you something, Devil Driven. This deck is unethical. <laughs> This deck is just, uh, it's kind of overpowered, uh, it has, because it has everything. It has loads of point slam, it has a lot of carryover abuse, it has a lot of control, it has everything. It has immune units, I don't know. Yeah, I'm This a, deck can do it all. I'm a huge fan. I like decks that have damage, and then they also have units that do damage. I'm like, I'm a huge fan, and then like... I mean, like, Philippa's basically your, your yoink. I mean, like, this is Enslaved, <laughs> this is Enslaved 6 right here. I mean, with Syndicate. I, I love it, man. I absolutely love it. Um, and, and like, like I was telling you in the, the one game, like, when I seen Cleaver was one strength, I'm like, this card is either going to be garbage or it's going to be busted. <laughs> and I think this card is busted, man. This card is <laughs> so good. It's on the busted side for sure. What's like what what's really nice about this deck is every card feels good. There's not a single card in this deck where you're like, damn, like I top deck into this and now I have to play it. Every card feels good and the top end cards feel really good. Right. Yeah, and like even with just the like before the justice, like in Scoyatel, like it, it just felt weird. Like with this and these, uh, the uh, safe crackers. I mean, it's insane. Like you, you play two cards, and you're at like twenty four points. Yeah. <laughs> and, but, but not only are you at twenty four points, you also kind of developed two engines, and you probably also generated some carryover. Right. Yeah, that and they're like they're kind of out of range already. Like they're intimidate engines that are sitting at like five well i mean that's on a low end five like sometimes there's six they can be if you have a straight up crime hand sometimes these things are like eights yep. it's yep. it's just insane like how do you deal with an eight strength unit that wasn't you know uh crystal skull or something like it's basically like yep. it's playing with a crystal skull in its back pocket I mean, it's... Uh, yeah, you drop these on blue and it's super hard to win the round for your opponent. You drop these on red and it's kind of hard for your opponent not to lose on even. Yeah. And like then you look at the bronze cards and that's honestly what, what makes this deck so smooth. Because of the leader that got buffed this patch, it's like already a pretty decent leader because coins are generally worth more than like a one-on-one -on -one ratio. But then you look at these bronze cards, and they basically are all seven for fours without any kind of investment with the leader. Um, like the four provision slots feel so good in this deck; it's it's insane. Yeah, yeah, and also too, I, I think like the the two things, like always with Syndicate, you want to keep an eye on your coins. You want to make sure you, you spend efficiently, and um, you also too want to make sure you got that crown splitter pocket for this bad boy right here. Yes. Because if you if you're doing three a turn, on top of the damage you're already doing, I mean this is just insane. This card went from one of the biggest memes to just, I mean like this is like the nerd in like grade school turning into the high school quarterback in high school like overnight, man. Just insane. Uh, this, this guy is Tanner from high school. <laughs> I mean, it's so good. I mean, the, the the amount of value you can get with having the coins you already have, spending, and then playing Dijkstra after, or Siggy after, and using your leader, you wipe their whole board and you're sitting on like 36 points. Yep. And what do it's, they do? What do they, they, they do? Don't, they don't do anything. <laughs> like, this deck is... Um... Yeah, it's... They it's kill this very, the next very, turn, very, very, and then it's too late. They're already down, and they got to go either a card or two down, and 
They're just yeah. in trouble, man. They're in big trouble. This deck is just insane. I mean, it's got and what's, good like, spenders. What's... I mean, it's... Go it's, ahead. It's... Yeah, sorry, sorry. Um, I was just... Uh, to, like, people who watch this and maybe, like, don't really know how to, to pilot the deck or, like, to, like, what the general game plan is, you just... And that's another upside of the deck. You can play however you want. You can give up round one, you can win round one, you can bleed into round two. You have good finishers, you have good long round, you have good everything. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to save the one game uh, probably for either Tuesday or Wednesday. You guys will get it where we actually bleed two cards down. It is, it is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. I, I just I couldn't believe it. I'm just like, what is going on? <laughs> I, I just, I, I was, I'm still like, what just happened? What, <laughs> what happened? Um, but a um, uh, couple games today, uh, one of them, the guy kind of, we run into a trap friend that, uh, <laughs> uh, as, as you'll see, uh, it's, that deck's hard to pilot. Like, it, when you play on interactive decks, man, it's tough to pilot. But um, we got a couple good games today. I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll either have one up Tuesday or Wednesday for a really good game. Um, Mr. Gravish, thank you, sir, for recording, man. I appreciate you always, taking some man. time, man. It's always super fun to hang out with you. Um, make sure you guys check out the TLG Discord. Um, lots of good stuff on there. Um, uh, just, just if you're newer, you know, and you need some help with the, you know, this deck in general or something, you know, you can ask uh, some people. They'll gladly help you out. Always good stuff there. And, uh, make sure you check out the Team of Ithan Gaming Twitch channel. Um, there's been a lot of good stuff going on there. Um, some of the guys are taking over the channel and playing. So they're playing Gwent. They're playing other things too. Um, so it's it's been a lot of fun watching that. And, and then the podcast is on there as well. So you want to follow that. Uh, it comes out every two weeks. So uh, make sure you check that out. Um, and just thank you guys so much, man, for just hanging out and uh, showing me a lot of love once again on the seasonal list, man. I know that seasonal isn't ladder, but... It, it feels nice to know that a lot of people like playing my seasonal list. So thank you. Thank you so much for that. A uh, couple games. Me and Mr. Gravish will see you at the end. All right. Movement. Ooh, this might be a trap deck that you're looking for. You think? Man, I Maybe. have to. I, I guess, though, it's good that I get this uh, Redanian in hand. But... <laughs> You get it every every game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stand boat. All right. So we drop this. So we drop in the Jacques. Drop the boat. I think we drop the the gourd here. We never played this card earlier. Um, the sand's looking. So we could drop the Jacques, but we really don't want to top deck the safe cracker. I think it's fine. We just drop the Jacques. I think we just, All right. Just don't get unlucky. I oh, just jam the safe cracker like always. All right. Very straightforward. Five boy. No, wait. Like this, this card is just so. This deck is just. It just clicks. Like everything is so strong and it clicks well together. And I think this deck is like easily the strongest deck in the game right now. Oh shit! All right, so I gotta flip it. That is, that is fine. Oh, it doesn't so, even hit. Yeah, it only uh, goes on his turn start. So we do just do it again with Furco, huh? Um, so it depends a bit on what he's running. Like the the Furco into Justice is still a super strong play in like round two or three, obviously. Right. Uh so I'm just wondering if we can get by with not doing it, but honestly. We Probably should just slam it. Like, the, the Tiger is already a good commitment, right? It's a 9 provision card. It's pretty right. important for a strategy, so yeah. Let's just go for it. it. It helps play around Serpent Trap, too. Oh, yeah, for sure. Flip, too? We don't need yeah. to right now. I guess we don't need to, yeah. Although, I just like to, to do the burger flipping. <laughs> And uh, Smuggle can still do some work here. Yeah, like we have to shake down this Smuggle. It looks like. Ah, it was good not to flip right because this looks like it's maybe a Serpent or a Crushing Trap. Um, 
We don't really have much counterplay, but I don't think we need to. I think we just play crimes here. Uh, probably a shakedown looks good. Uh, well, I should put it on the uh, lamp, huh? Um, I think we like this. Maybe is a crushing, so we should keep the lamp unflipped and just put it on maybe the furco, furco, or the muscle. Maybe the furco is fine. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's this. That's fair enough. Sweet. It's not that bad. Now we flip. No, 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 no. We we just. Because he's gonna, like, traps always want to win round one, very, very heavily. So we'll play around the crushing as long as we can. Cleaver works pretty good around the, the yeah, crushing Cleaver's... traps since they're all shielded. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be like a full trap setup. Does he it's, does he go um, for a Tory with the I that I seems... would assume so. Probably. But maybe not. We'll, we'll see what his thing is. It's really sad to get blue coin. Like I feel like if you get red coin in this matchup, this is like a free like win. Nine. Yeah, because you play the, the same, like you just go safe cracker to justice and you're up by like twenty points and they just have no points. Hmm. Ah, this is um this is pretty annoying, honestly. Because we kind of want to Philippa this Maddock, but we have no spender in hand that we want to play. Kind of would like to go for a Jackal. How many bombs could he have, though, with traps? Probably at least four or five. Do we still do it? I think we still do it. Do we still I stack? Think, I think you play back row. I think it's okay to play back row here. Flip? Uh, not yet. We're gonna play anymore. Maybe we just play the shakedown on the back row next time. Oh, we but can yeah, do we smuggle on the back row. Oh, that's, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. So he needs 18. Well, this is 7, though. Yeah, he always has some reach. He's like, what the hell? Special so he's trying to get carry over. You, love. So we either we should, kill. We should still play the, the smuggle this turn, just do to play around the tiger. It's a bit annoying. It's one more tiger, but it's fine. Him we... playing this card is just good for us. I think you can flip now, yes. Yeah, 27. He needs. 16, 17 points? Yeah. I guess he gets it with Hattori and the Cracker. I mean, he's, he's gonna and some leader charges. There it is. That's totally, that's really good for us. That's there really, it is. really, really good. And we still will maintain the three carryover on the coins. That's just really good. Yeah, we just need, well, I, mean, I guess Cleaver's a spender. Yeah, for round two, we were set up much better. Um, I don't think we want the BGF here. Just too many damage cards. Nope. Ah, this hand is... This hand is not good. So what are we pulling with the Nero? The... We have to watch, too, with the... The second Serpent Trap. Not to play yeah. into a... Haymaker. I think we just play the cleaver here, we just gym jam it. Um yeah. I think we just play the cleaver and I think we uh, go for one leader charge and spend twice. It just spends cleanly, like it sets us up for the extra um, And it goes around the 50 50. Well, I guess he could leader charge and spring the trap. No, he'd have to leader charge twice. Yeah, very expensive. Heat wave. I mean, that's that's a, that's a pretty fun heat wave. We'll just jam the deke stroke. See me smiling. I'm dead serious. Boat comes out, 17 points. I doubt he's oh, a renewed friend. Yeah, I don't think so. 
So you that's point. This. That's pretty annoying for sure. Do we spend? Mm -hmm. The question is do we spend once or twice? Probably. I guess if we only spend once, you could go like leader charge into a um, rebuke. So I think we spent twice. You think he still has rebukes too? How do you fit all that stuff in there? I mean, <laughs> you, you kind of can. It so twice, on huh? I think twice. Okay, yeah. he played a key player first. Um, so I don't even know what other like maybe as a curse of corruption, but I think if we see it here, that's kind of okay. Okay, that's extremely weak. That's totally fine with us. So now we just smuggle or shake down on Dijkstra. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. I like it. Do we spend again or do we just... I don't think we do. We just play into a Curse of Corruption. We're already up by like a bazillion points here. Like, I, I think... Yeah, we really do stay here. So he goes to Nero. Okay. Hattori. Hattori. So that's... That's curse. Every, every trap here sucks for him. Realistically. It's kind of interesting. He's thinking about... What's he thinking about? Do we play the thing and just don't pay the tribute? Or is it I'm just sure. the longer we play into it now, the worse it gets? Is this our pass? I mean, like, regardless of what... I guess this could be a horn, then it would make sense. But, like, what is he thinking about? Oh, no. That's, well, maybe just forgot to press enter. <laughs> So if we don't play a special, this doesn't really ever pop, right? If this is the... It just hits one of the fives, right? Yeah. If this is the... the serpent. The trap, the serpent, then yeah. And then he would need to make up like 20 points. Um, we could contemplate just playing the Salamander Mage. And not... It's, it's kind of just a seven. It's not really going to get us anywhere. So what's in our deck? What are we going to top deck? Let's take a sneak peek. Drill that doesn't hit anything. <laughs> Shock. Yeah. The immune unit's nice, but we got to watch... Well, he can't play Serpent Trap now. He played a Tori. Exactly. I think... We have so many reactive cards, but we should be able to take some Molly. I think it's a good pass. This is the pass. Okay. Yeah. yeah so now fun. he has to spring it. He I might mean, actually could even... Be... This could be a pitfall, right? It could also be crushing or incinerating. It could be anything, really, at this point. Yeah, I think he goes down a card here. Yes. Pretty sure. If not for, like, full leader shenanigans. Whoa, okay. Maybe he even goes down two cards, and this is a play. Ryan! And he hits this. Wait, that... What is, what is the trap? This, it's not Serpent, it's Pitfall, maybe? Yeah, it's gotta be. So that just hits for. S oh, it's. It's crushing. No. Wait, what? Wait. It's, it's crushing <laughs> trap. So he goes full leader. No, oh, it was serpent trap. Full what leader. What are you doing, Mr. Opponent? So he gets there. I no, mean, he doesn't. Oh, <laughs> no. oh, my lord. So oh. I think if he, um, he gets there, if he goes full leader and brings the trap on the muscle, I think then he gets there by one. Yeah. And then he, yeah, then he gets out. That was just a series of unfortunate events. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, though, honestly, this is my common experience playing against traps. They just get wrecked. <laughs> it's, it's super hard to pilot. When you play an uninteractive deck like that, you got to know what you're doing. Because if yeah. you don't, like... Like there, you if you don't have the points and all your cards are just damage and stuff, like you're in trouble. Yeah, I agree. It's 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 it does have a high skill cap. It's not like it's not the just headbutt play button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> no, not not at all. These decks are actually super hard to pilot well because you you like your cards are very reactive and they only deal little damage and everything. So you have to be like on point with all of them. Right, right. Busted. <laughs> Busted it is. Oh, I like the, the cleaver skin. Ghost oh, we went we went all cleavered in. We one. we got the card back. We got everything. Nice, I like it. So we dropped the boat. We dropped the boat, no one the boat. Um, and then we dropped one of the safe crackers. Um, because you always only want one in hand, because the second one is your justice target. You only have the safe crackers in this deck. And then I think we probably... It's either the Jacques or the um, Salamander Mage. I think we're a good money in the Jacques. Philippa right. might be good. Philippa uh, might be really good. So what do we lead off with? Sounds like okay. It's okay safe cracker. It's kind of always what you do. You just drop the, the safe crackers, um, then maybe the justice, and then you play some crimes, win the round, get the boat out. Where uh, Does it matter where we drop it? No, oh, front row is fine, I think. Skeptic doesn't really have the row specific punishes. Most of the time. Right. So next we play Furco. Unless he plays something we don't like. Yeah. Like I mean, like there is a consideration to not play the Justice at all, but I think we follow him now. We could still play it. Yeah, I think we just play it here. Like, sure, we do lose some points into the boat, but we also gain points from the safe cracker, so it kind of just works out. I guess we don't have to stack, huh? Do we flip or not yet? No, we wait a bit with uh, the burger flipping. The burger flipping? <laughs> <laughs> It never really looked like a genie, like the traditional genie in my book. Like it looks like a bird. Yeah, it's kind of weird. But I also I don't really know which Whoa. lore, so... Ooh, that's a good card already. So where do we go? We go... So... Like, now is the point of Syndicate where you start, like, thinking about how you want to play out the round, because you always want to maximize your coins, like you want to get to 9 coins, get the boat out. Um, so I think I would actually start off with a... Um, I forgot the name of the card. S smuggle? Smuggle, a smuggle, yes, yes, yes. And uh, maybe put the land here, just because we're on 7, we don't really care much about this. Uh, the, the reason for this is, like, after you play Justice, if you play two of the um, three coin primes, you get up to nine coins and the boat jumps out. So, if we would play the Payday here, we would kind of be on uneven coins and it would be harder for us to get the boat. Blood for foul blood! So now he brings out a raider, you would imagine. Maybe, maybe a hunter. Maybe yeah, hunter. hunter. What is it? Okay. He still doesn't flip the lamp, so do we... I think we just play the... We just go with the plan. We just play the, the dip in the Ponta here. Maybe on the Hunter. And it's gonna get our boat out. And then we can think about how we want to spend with his hand. Like we could maybe play the Philippa, maybe play the Tunnel Drill, spend some coins. Like, you're always with Syndicate, you want to make sure to, to maximize your coins at any point in time. Okay. Did we play the Mage? Uh, I guess yeah. it doesn't really do much. That's a little early for the Mage. So we do want to spend here. Uh, the question is how... Honestly, I kind of like the Philippa on the boat here. So you oink the boat? 
Yeah, we get like we get rid of an engine, we develop an engine, we spend some coins, but still keep some coin carryover to pass I think it gives us a fine. gives us a thirteen point lead, which is nice. Yeah, like he already dropped the totem, so he kind of indicated that he wants to really fight for arm control. Right. He can't drop the Witchers yet. They're they're still a ways away. Sucks yeah. we can kill this guy. Yeah, but like the good thing is we can still maybe pay the later on. It's also like it's not that threatening, right? It's only half a point per turn. Right. We do gotta I, I realized I didn't well, this is only a one. I guess I should have stacked for the crown splitter pocket. Yeah, that's definitely a slight misplay, but it's it doesn't matter here. But we came out on top here. Yeah. We we did invest a bit with the Philippa, but I think it's fine. Yeah, this card got a serious buff, man. It's insane. Oh this card, this card is so good. I aye, aye. aye. <laughs> So what do we want to keep? Mm, so we have two coin carryover, two crimes in the sand. We have the tunnel drill. I think we're okay to kick the jackal here because we have other good methods of spending. And now this hand kind of synergizes well with crime, so I think we get rid of the mage. Like the mage is super good, but it's not a card that like it's a card that's just good if you have it, but you don't need it or anything. Right. So now we need to make a decision. I'm pretty sure we want to bleed. I yeah. kind of want to bleed nearly every matchup with this deck. Um, the question is, do we want to use a leader charge to gain immunity on the the pig skewer tooth? The pig. <laughs> it's kind of worth it, huh? I mean, having an immune unit versus a straight up damage deck. I mean, the thing is, normally Skelliger doesn't really run damage cards for this. Like, I have seen very few stunning blows on ladder. We could be greedy here. Let's be greedy. Let's no, just be greedy. No tribute. Yeah, we're just, we're just greedy, greedy bastards here. Intimidate 2. So if he doesn't answer it, I guess, too, this deck doesn't run Morkvarg anymore. They cut it. Exactly. And that's the thing, right? Like, most decks, they just don't play the Sunning Blow, they just don't play the Decoction. This is actually, like, a lot of times you really just can play this this uh, pig without immunity, because decks don't run good answers. So now we play Cleaver? And I guess uh, we should have played this back row, huh? No, front row is good. Or, like, it doesn't really matter, right? Like, they're both... None of our cards is roll locked really. Um, or did we just... so we could play Cleaver first, so we could play the Pater. I think we just Cleaver, right? Like, seems pretty good to him. Can we go back? We, st we still stack, huh? Yeah, yeah, we stack. You, you always, like, Cleaver, you always want to play next to the, uh, pick, because... Did we spend once? once? Yeah, spend once. Always. Um, because the Cleaver synergizes with the Crown Splitter next to it, right? Like, we get an extra, uh, Intimidate for every Crown Splitter next to the Cleaver. Yeah. And now we, like, we're ready to drill him down the line. Just play the specials, drill him. Iced off Ooh. bat, no bloodthirst. Ooh, wow, just jams ice. That's no retreat, pretty not nice. But he doesn't get the... Well... Oh, yeah, that seems odd. Do we just kill it? I mean, seems like just a line, right? Just pay it. That's that's a very premature eyes. Yeah, it didn't seem correct at all. Like, how does he kill Tunnel Drill now? Uh, Yalmar. I mean, he, it's gonna he get damage. He can't! He doesn't even have enough in his graveyard to kill it. It's, it's gonna get damage from the boat, so he's probably gonna be able to do it, but that's fine, honestly. So we just Jim jam the tunnel drill, huh? No, no, no. We, we, should, uh, we should be a bit tempered. I think what we do here is just play the shakedown. On the muscle. 
Mm -hmm. Because we, we do want to get the boat out. Like, I think we play this and we uh, use a leader charge just to get the boat out. We're gonna lose one point when we play the tunnel drill, but I think it's totally worth it. So. And it's the armor off. Interesting. Ah, Turgby. That's, that's not so bad. Okay, look, the smell of a burning village in the morning. So now I think it's just drop the drill and just completely unload on the man. So which one do we go for first? Mm, I think you just play for value, like hit the turret twice and then hit the bear witch twice. And then, honestly, I think you even go for another leader charge. Like, you don't need to kill the ship. We're actually not gonna play any more units in this round. So we just kill the Witcher? Or we kill the uh, ship? We just hit it, hit it twice and then hit the, uh, the pipe. Just play for like maximum value, basically. So here? Yeah. Like, this way we just get the maximum points. We're gonna be up by 12 here. So he needs a really big play to get ahead. And if he doesn't kill the tunnel drill, he can slam Geekstra. Oh, he didn't even take it out. I think this is, uh, uh, is this a worthy Dijkstra? It's pretty rough, man. <laughs> that's, <laughs> woo, that's a lot of points. Ah, uh, let's just go for it, right? Let's just slam Siggy. And I think now we can kill the ship, I guess. We don't have better targets anymore. Are we using any leader charges? Um, so let's take a look at the deck, uh, because we want to make sure that we Jacques. will be able to get the, the boat out next round. So the dip's going to give us four coins, three from leader should be good. I think we go for it. The whole thing? And we should, yeah, one, one, and then kill the bear witcher. One, two more? Or just, that's it? This, this is fine. We want to make sure to be able to have enough coins to get the boat out in round three. But we're probably going to need some leader charges for that. Yeah, the shield's helping out too. He can't even get the, oh, he gets it right here. Yeah, so, but this is fine. This is a second blood eagle. Like, this is just... And so he, we get the herald out. I mean, this game is uh, pretty done, so if you ask me. Yeah, no ice, no herald. <laughs> oh, and he went be? greedy with the hunter. I mean, he's still... I guess he can easily get the here. Um, actually... Let's take a look at the deck for a second again. Jacques, we just need a Nero or Jacques, and I think it's game over. I mean, yeah, so you can easily take it with a Bear Witcher here, but our dip in the Ponter actually plays for um, for six points. It's worth the consideration here. I think we just dip. The Hunter. Yeah, dip the Hunter, it doesn't really matter here. Don't really have follow up. And, yeah. Because, like, the dip, it forces another card out of him, he can't get ahead here. And what's really nice is we get two carryover from this dip. So it's just a good trade, I think. We raid, we I don't know, it just takes Yeah, we just gotta draw one of those two cards and I think it's over. Yeah, I think even if we don't, we have a pretty good chance. Oh, oh yes, it's a... we'll enter by uh, just barely made it. Yeah, we could have probably two of them, but that's, that's no worth it to, to YOLO it. Yeah. Okay, that's there it is. That's, there uh, it is. That's very nice. Uh, honestly, I think we keep the sand. I think the sand's perfect. Because we just grab up the. Yeah, like this shakedown is gonna help us get the boat out. Uh, we want the Jacques and the the Gord, and then we just have a free card off of the Nero. So we go yeah. Jacques first. I see the other beast. Um, we could just kill this. With the payday. With the payday, yeah. So we still would have enough coins to get the boat out. Seems good. Seems like a good payday. 
You, I, I don't think you find anything scary here. But you need, like, uh, I mean, he played for. everything. He wasted his iced. Yeah. Turgvi's gone. Both bear witchers. He's got his. It's like maybe one good card left. Warhawk to Maybe. So yeah, we just jam the jam the jock, and then um. So the shakedown is gonna give us four coins, and the leader is three plus three carryall, so we have ten coins with bottles, we can spend one since the jock. Do we, if he has Yalmar, do we spend three times to keep it a lot? Oh, it, it, you'd have to spend a lot, huh? I mean, you could go full spend and just say we don't really need the boat. That's a line you could take too. I think we can be greedy here because I think we don't lose to Yalmar. So I feel like we just spend once. Oh, I, shit. I forgot the That's fine. click. Fine. Oh, he has a uh, thing left. The five damage guy. Oh, he also has... Yeah, yeah. Okay, that was that was actually a really good misplay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we should have definitely okay. spent once at least. It's fine. Uh, we can just play Shakedown and do nothing. And we're gonna win anyway. Now we're yeah, I forgot the about Squirtle. Yeah, his last card's Yomar, right? Any... Maybe, maybe it's something completely else. Oh. I, it just cannot I, be, I, you know? I forgot about dude in the pain. Like we still we have nine points here and it's still winning eleven points. Just yeah. yeah, if you get your gourd up to thirteen, that's that seems to be the sweet spot. Thirteen. Yeah, Fourteen's like a you... really good one. Yeah. It, it all depends on if you draw the Onero. Like if you get double Onero proc then he gets to like 13, 14. Right, right. Mr. Gravish, thanks for hanging out, sir. Um, sure thing. When, when are we going to see some streams again? You going to bring back uh, the stream? You yeah. got all these sweet karate emotes and all that, man. <laughs> you got to get it going, man. You got to get it going. You are right, Steve. You are right. I mean, you got Gravish shampoo. I mean, if you haven't seen Gravish shampoo, <laughs> you are you are missing out on life. That's all I know. Um. But uh, I appreciate you hanging out with me, dude. Thank you so much. Always, man. It was um, a pleasure. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching uh, Mondays for Ladder Leverage Day. Um, definitely check out the Team of Leviathan Gaming um, uh, Twitch channel. Lots of stuff going on there. Max has been streaming some stuff. Specimen's been doing some Among Us streams. The podcast goes on there, too. So uh, definitely check that out. I'll put it in the uh, description. And uh, make sure you check out the Discord so you can... Uh, bear witness to the the beauty that is grave shampoo um <laughs> thank you so much for everything we'll see you guys next time bye, -bye.